large crescent made from a glass and carbon fiber composite and decorated in gold mosaic. The crescent weighs 107 tons and measures 23 meters in diameter. It is the largest crescent ever constructed and home to a prayer room, which is the highest usable space inside any building in the world. The world's largest written takbir, the phrase, God is great, is visible on the panels above the clock. Here the letter Alif is more than 23 meters high. The Islamic creed, there is no God but God, and Muhammad is his messenger, is visible on the side panels. The facade of the clock comprises 43,000 square meters of advanced composite material. Composites of this kind are also used in the aerospace industry. This high-tech material is more than three times stronger than steel and resistant to extreme climatic conditions. The ornate facade of the Mecca clock is covered with 98 million colored glass mosaic tiles. A quarter of one clock face, complete with clock drive and working hands, was set up and successfully tested over the course of several months. The construction team has been trained to ensure smooth and efficient installation on site in Mecca. Inspections were carried out at all major development stages with the direct involvement of the senior management. Installation of the clock faces and their respective components has been completed on site. Initially, the clock face design was flat with no angle of indentation. To improve legibility and to reduce the impact of the wind forces, the clock face was optimized to its final concave shape. The supporting steel structure was subsequently redesigned. The clock face is made up of four ornamented corners coordinated hour and minute indicators, and the national emblem, the largest emblem of the kingdom ever built. The inscription on the clock face reads, built during the time of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Abdullah bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. In addition to this, the year in which the test operation on the first clock started, 1431 Hijri, 2010 Gregorian, is written separately alongside the inscription. The minute hands on the northern and southern clock faces are 23 meters long. The hour hands are 17 meters long. Each of the clock hands weighs six tons. As a result, a clock drive mechanism had to be developed which could support the immense weight of the clock hands. At first, a clock drive mechanism was designed that used two separate systems to drive each clock hand. This mechanism weighed around five tons. The shorter hour hand was driven by a small central drive unit, while the end of the longer minute hand was mounted on a peripheral track. A large circular slit in the clock face was needed for a bracket connecting the clock hand to the track. The complexity of this system would have resulted in higher maintenance demands and greater risks of malfunction. Through the slit in the face, sand, dust and rain could have entered, potentially causing damage to the clock mechanism and lighting systems. It was decided to redesign the system to find a more suitable solution. After several design iterations, a set of aerodynamic carbon fiber clock hands was developed. Wind force simulations proved that these alterations made it safe to use a central drive unit 
for both hands. This solved the issues of the previous drive system and also led to a more efficient clock drive. In the finalized design of the clock drives, each of the clock hands is driven by a separate motor. These clock drives have been carefully constructed by the world's leading manufacturer of tower clocks. Each drive unit weighs 21 tons. They are the biggest and heaviest clock drives ever built. There is one drive unit for each of the four clocks. All four units are synchronized by a single time signal, the Mecca time. Solar panels generate electricity to power the clock drives. For supplemental power, the clock drives are connected to the electrical grid of Mecca. The drive unit successfully completed a long-term function test. All four drive units were installed in their final location. Some 500 meters above the ground, workers maneuvered the clock hands into position. To ensure that the time can be easily read from a great distance, a team of specialists conducted a live study testing the combination of lighting technology, materials and colors in order to achieve optimal legibility. After both day and nighttime testing, it was concluded that a black on white contrast was most visible during the day, while at night a white on green contrast provided the sharpest image. Specially developed LED technology was incorporated due to its brightness, durability and ease of control. To achieve this exceptional quality of nighttime lighting, some two million LED lights are used. Each aspect of the lighting system was successfully tested on the quarter clock test construction. During the development of the tower's exterior, LED media screens were added to the facade on all four sides. These exceptionally bright LEDs are visible both day and night. The screens are 11 meters high. They measure 70 meters on the front and back of the tower and 45 meters on the sides. The messages displayed on the front and back screens read, In the name of God, the Beneficent, the Merciful. The King Abdul Aziz Endowment for the Two Holy Mosques. There is no God but God, and Muhammad is his messenger. Peace be upon him, his companions and family. Glory be to God. All praise is for God. There is no God but God. God is the greatest. There is no might or any power except with God. Our Lord, give unto us in the world that which is good and in the hereafter that which is good and guard us from the doom of fire. On special occasions like Ramadan, messages such as Ramadan Mubarak are displayed. During Hajj, one message reads, May Allah accept your pilgrimage and forgive your sins. Further messages are displayed on the side screens. These include, Glory be to God and praise Him. Glory be to God, the Supreme. I seek forgiveness from God. May God's blessings be upon our master Muhammad and upon his family and companions. Catwalks are integrated within the supporting steel structure to aid maintenance of the LEDs and other components of the clock face. Hidden hatches in the clock face 
are opened in order to gain access to the clock hands. Using a bridge, maintenance technicians climb through the hatches in the clock face. The clock hands have been made fully accessible for maintenance purposes. Once inside the clock hand, any necessary maintenance work on the lighting system can be safely undertaken. This unique feature makes the Mecha clock the only clock in the world with fully accessible clock hands. For maintenance work, four telescopic cranes with a lifting capacity of six tons are installed below the spire. A number of safety precautions are necessary to protect the electrical components of the clock from lightning damage. Therefore, a specialized lightning protection system was developed for the clock tower. Three highly sensitive field mills constantly measure the strength of the electric field in the atmosphere around the tower. If a critical field value is exceeded, 20 retractable lightning rods in the clock faces are activated. They automatically extend to a length of 5 meters. The clock is now protected from being struck by lightning bolts. The conductors also extend in the event of a power loss. A further 800 fixed rods are installed in other areas of the clock tower. Every hour, on the hour, time is announced by an acoustic signal. This signal begins with the takbir, followed by the number of drum beats that corresponds to the hour of the day. For example, four drum beats indicate that the time is four o'clock. The signal can be heard inside the broadcasting and control rooms as well as in the Mecca Clock Visitors Center. When required, it will be audible over volume-controlled loudspeakers in the immediate vicinity of the tower. The clock drives are controlled by Mecca Time, an independently generated time signal that is derived from five highly precise atomic clocks. They are the centerpiece of the new Mecca Time Institute. Mecca Time will also be broadcast on both national and international TV and radio. The atomic clocks are fully configured and tested, ensuring precise function in Mecca. Once further tests have been completed in Mecca, the Time Institute will be connected to the UTC, Universal Time Coordinated Network, based in Paris. The Mecca Time Institute will synchronize its time signal with 50 other time institutes around the world. The operation and monitoring of all technical systems will be done from a central control station these include the control of the clock drives and lighting, the media screens, the loudspeakers, and the lightning protection system. The call to prayer from the Holy Mosque is broadcast live from the top of the Mecca clock tower over a specially developed loudspeaker system. This call can be heard within a radius extending up to seven kilometers from the clock tower. As the call to prayer sounds, the top of the clock tower is illuminated with 21,000 green and white sparkling lights, 
These dazzling lights are visible up to 30 kilometers from the clock tower and signify the start of prayer. This signal is useful for the hearing impaired and those at a great distance from the mosque. Four green lasers are installed in the base of the crescent. Each laser produces a powerful ray of light that stretches to infinity. Each laser is 400 watts in power and will be visible within a range of approximately 30 kilometers around the tower. During religious occasions, such as the beginning of the Hijri months and during holidays, 24 10 kilowatt beacon lights project light beams more than 10 kilometers into the sky around Mecca. On the 19th of Ramadan, 1432, the 19th of August, 2011, the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Abdullah bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, inaugurated the Mecca clock. The remaining three sides of the clock were switched on together with the clock's lighting systems. All praise and thanks be to Allah, the Lord of existence. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر سبحان الله رب العالمين اللهم يا مصرف القلوب صرف قلوبنا على طاعتك اللهم إني ظلمت نفسي ظلما كثيرا ولا يغفر الذنوب إلا أنت فاغفر لي مغفرة من عندك وارحمني إنك أنت الغفور الرحيم اللهم اغفر لي خطيئتي وإسرافي في أمري وما أعلم به مني اللهم إني أعوذ بك من العجز والكسل والجبن والبخل والهم وعذاب القبر
اللهم آت نفسي تقواها وزكها أنت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها اللهم إني أعوذ بك من علم لا ينفع ومن قلب لا يخشع ومن نفس لا تشبع ومن دعوة لا يستجاب لها اللهم إني أسألك الهدى والسداد لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العزيز الحكيم اللهم أصلح لي ديني اللهم أصلح لي ديني الذي هو عصمة أمري وأصلح لي دنياي التي فيها معاشي وأصلح لي آخرة التي فيها معادي واجعل الحياة زيادة في كل خير واجعل الموت راحة من كل شر اللهم لك أسلمت وبك آمنت وعليك توكلت وإليك أنبت وبك خاصمت